What's up everybody and welcome back to Joy's World. Today I'm going to show you two ways to make bookmarks. So the first way I'm going to show you is the normal classic ones. I made these in the previous, in one of my previous um, videos that I couldn't post because my baby brother Gray didn't leave me alone. He couldn't leave me alone. <laughs> and the same, same problem. And we're gonna make some of these, but I think we're gonna color them. Okay, so first, all the stuff you are going to need. You're going to need scissors, paper, any type of paper, tape, and hole puncher. So, first, what we're going to do is we're going to need paper doesn't matter if it's colored or not if you want to color it just color it and pa pause the video and color it because that's the best way to go so right here I got one of the pieces I made this and we're going to remake this so we are going to try and cut like an inch and a half of this piece of paper so it's going to be kind of let me just see right there like that okay and you are going to cut up oh. you're just going to start cutting cut as straight as you can I am NOT going to bother with the straightness because we want to get through this quick fast and quick and easy right so when you have your strip I'm not going to color the back, but if you want the back color, color it now. Pause the video. So, now you are going to trim the edges, make them round. So, if you don't want them round, you don't have to get make them round. But I just like, I think that it looks cute when it's round, when the edges are rounded out. So, this is only an option, suggestion. Remember, you don't have to do this. Okay, so I rounded out the edges. Edges. Okay, now we are going to need. What's next? Oh yeah, the tape. So you're going to get the tape first. I have to find the end. Oh, here it is. And. We're going to so right now right here I want to tell you what kind of tape you need you need the big roll of tape otherwise if you have the, the tape from, that comes out of the tape dispenser it's not gonna work you're going to have to wrap around your bookmark that I feel it's not fun I tried that before it took me ha probably 30 minutes to go around this with that stupid small tape. So when you have your tape the length uh, that the correct length, same length as your bookmark, you are going to stick it very carefully to that tape right now you are going to when it's done still on the roll you're going to smooth it out just smooth it out so there's no air holes pockets inside and that and then you're going to cut it to cut that tape when you cut the tape you are going to have some loose pieces hanging you just flip them over and move them to the back side flip Sorry, everyone. Maybe, brother. There you go. Okay. So now you are going to have a second strip that you are going to get. If it breaks or rips ah, at the start, you just want to you want to take that off. It's just going to tear the whole thing. 
and go, go. This time you cannot have a little extra pieces hanging off the top. Otherwise, you're going to have to go over this, the front, which I think is, it's not good. So you're going to have to try and make it as easy as possible. Okay. Yikes. <laughs> and now you have your tape. You're going to smooth that out. And there you have it. So now you are going to be cutting off the excess tape that was hanging off the sides. If you rounded the edges, you're gonna round the tape out. And the reason we're doing tape is because we don't have a laminating machine. We don't have a laminating machine. And this is an easy craft that, can, that you can do at home. You don't have to need a bookmark. You can just do this if you're bored. And it's easy, you just need simple things. No glue, nothing required. Only the usual home stuff that you have at home. But I'm not sure if everyone has a hole puncher at home, but we always have about two. <laughs> and you can get hole punchers, Walmart, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Family Dollar, almost everywhere. There you go. And when you once you've cut off that excess, you got your bookmark. So if you have like a little tassel, like a little piece of string that you want to tie to the top, you punch a hole there, like I did on this one. I can see you. <laughs> you punch a hole there and then you just um, loop the string in there and tie it. Right now I don't have the time for that because I need to finish up the video. Okay, and so yeah, that concludes how to make a straight, easy bookmark. So now we are going to go on with the little triangle mouths. So you are going to need a piece of paper and we are going to fold it into a square. square. So before we start doing this, I'm going to tell you the stuff you need. So you are going to need scissors and a sharpie and color pencils or whatever you use to color. So when you're done, you're going to take your black sharpie and you are going to go all with the side. It's just going where you folded the piece of paper. It's okay if you write on the loose flip here, but try to keep it clean here. Nothing thick or anything, just go smooth. And when you're done, you are going to excuse me for one minute. He's fine. Okay, you are going to cut along that line that you made. And we are going to need the big part of the square. Well, of course, because the other side's not a square. Come on. Okay, and you're going to just cut along that line. There you go. When you're done with that, you are going to, if you want to color it, I would say color right now. I'm just gonna do a quick white one. So you are going to take the square and you are going to fold it into a triangle. And you kinda wanna make that even. I'm just gonna, it's not very even. So when you have that, you are going to take the um, side ends and flip it up to the point. You are going to pull that upwards and open that up. 
So you see these lines, you're going to take the top piece and you're going to fold it upwards. See? Not both of them, just one. And then you're going to take these side ends and you're going to take them up again. But this time, you are going to tuck it inside and like right there, like that, right there. And when you are done, you are going, you can draw little eyes on them, like put ears on them. If you want to put ears on them, you are going to have make little slits there. And when you have, I'm just going to show you. This is what I think you have to do. You're going to like cut out, you know how they have those little ears? You got to cut out a, basically a long one and then you're going to fold the bottom piece and when you have a slit here you are going to put that in and like make sure that this goes up so it doesn't come out so that's how you do it um thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to comment subscribe and hit that like button and so yeah bye